Hi class, good day. So for today, we're going to talk about solving a right triangle. Before that, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. So, solving a right triangle here, given you measurement ng two parts, which is given na yung hypotenuse natin kasi siya yung opposite sa ating 90 degree angle at given din yung isang leg natin. Okay, so the length of hypotenuse and the length of one leg. So, yun yung given sa atin. So, solving a right triangle means finding the measure of the remaining parts. So, hanapin natin yung measure ni angle B, ni angle A, at ni leg A, or yung side na ito. So, let us solve first nitong angle A na ito. Since given na yung, kung itong angle A ang hahanapin natin, so this will be our angle theta. So since ito yung hahanapin natin, so yung adjacent natin is ito, si 17. Okay? Then, si side B, ayan, adjacent side of angle A, so given na siya. Then meron na rin tayong hypotenuse. So ibig sabihin, given sa atin yung ad adjacent at given din sa hypotenuse. So para makuha natin yung angle A, so, we can use ka or cosine. So, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So, cos A is equal to B over C. So, substitute lang natin. Cos A, yun yung nahanap natin. Then, 17 over 23. 17 over 23. Then, divide natin. 17 divided by 23. That will give us 0 0.73913. So, kung napansin nyo, hindi pa siya naka-degree, right? Kasi, um, we're dividing ito left ng mga sides. So, para mag maging degree siya, kasi nga, inahanap natin itong measurement ng angle A. So, you can use the scientific calculator, right? The scientific calculator in your class, dapat naka-degree mode siya, right? And then, all you have to do is just to press itong shift na ito, then, press nyo yung cos, kasi cosine ito. Then, press nyo yung 0 0.73913. Pag napindot nyo yun, press nyo yung equal sign, lalabas na doon yung degrees niya, which is 42.34 degrees. Ayan. So, therefore, yung angle A natin is 42.34 degrees. Right? So, here, meron na tayo angle A. So, hanapin naman natin si leg A at si angle B. Right? Pero una natin hanapin muna ito si angle B. So, kung, mapansin, kung ma na naaalala nyo, ang sukat ng buong angle na isang triangle ay 180 degrees. So, meron na tayo itong 90 degrees, meron na rin tayong 42.34 degrees. Since tatlong angle lang naman yung triangle, so pwede natin isubtract yung 90 at 42 sa total na 180 degrees. At kung ano yung difference, yun yung angle B. Right? So, here, since in solution A, it was already found that 42.34 degrees yung angle A, then the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, kaya na sinabi ko kanina, then, si angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus natin ng 42.34 minus natin ng angle C which is 90. So, ang sukat ng ating angle B is 47.66 degrees. Right? So, kay leg A tayo or sa side na ito, opposite kay um, angle A. So, hanapin natin yung opposite kay angle A. So, Pwede na rin tayong gumamit ng Pythagorean Theorem. Nakalimutan nyo kung ano yung Pythagorean Theorem, meron akong other video about Pythagorean Theorem. I'll put the link below para masundan ninyo, alright? But you can also use um, the other six trigonometric ratios as long as magagamit nyo siya ng tama kung saan yung gagamitin yung adjacent and opposite here, okay? So mamaya may example ako tungkol dyan, alright? So, here, papakita ko din sa inyo na pwede din tayong kumuha ng measurement na ito gamit yung Pythagorean theorem. So, we have, so we have here, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So, substitute nyo lang. c squared natin is 23 equal to a, sya yung hinahanap natin, plus 17 squared. Okay? So, 23 squared is equal to 529. 
17 squared is equal to 289. Then, apply subtraction property of equality. So, 529 minus 289, that is equal to 240. Since naka squared ito, so let's square both sides. So, square root of 240 is equal to 15.49. So, therefore, yung sukat ni leg A or nitong opposite side kay angle A natin is 15.49. Right? So, pansin nyo, hindi na siya dapat nakadegrees because we're talking about the measurement of the side or the leg. Right? Nakadegrees na siya kapag angle. Right? So, another example. Solving right triangle, given naman dito yung hypotenuse and isang acute angle. So, kung napansin nyo, here, isang side lang yung given. Okay? Pero, meron na tayong 58 degrees dito at angle C na 90 degrees. So, una, hanapin muna natin si angle B. So, since dalawa na yung given natin na angle, so, pwede na natin isubtract itong dalawang ito sa 180 degrees. Alright? So, substitute natin si angle A, which is 58. Si angle B, siya yung hanapin natin at si angle C is 90 degrees. Ayan. So, we have 58 plus 90, that is 148 degrees, is equal to 180. Okay? So, Apply subtraction property of equality. So, we have angle B here. So, 180 magma-minus tayo ng 148 degrees. Right? So, that will give us 32 degrees. So, therefore, it was angle B is 32 degrees. Right? So, ano naman ang measure ni leg na ito at ni leg na ito? Yan. So, punta tayo kay side B. Ito, so adjacent. Ayan. So, to find B, since B is the adjacent, siya yung katabi nitong angle A. Ayan, adjacent siya ni angle A. Then, si C is the hypotenuse. Then, we can use cosine again. So, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Ayan. So, substitute ni lang. So, we have here cosine A. That's equal to B over C. So, si angle natin si B is 58. Is. Ayan, substitute nyo na siya. Kasi meron na tayong angle A. So, substitute nyo na si angle A, which is 58 degrees. Then, si B, wala pa. Hanapin pa natin si B. And then, si C, or hypotenuse, which is 27. And, cross multiply nyo lang siya. So, we have here, B is equal to 27 times cosine 58 degrees. Alright? So, bago nyo siya ito times, pwede nyo sa scientific calculator nyo, press nyo lang yung cosine, then 50 degrees equals 0 0.5299. Okay? So, since hindi na siya nakadegrees, pwede natin siya i-multiply kay 27. That will give us 14.31. So, therefore, itong side B natin, yung leg adjacent kay angle A is 14.31. Alright? So, meron na tayong adjacent, si opposite na lang yung hanapin natin, si side opposite kay angle A. Tama? So, triangle BCA is right angled as C. If C is equal to 27 and angle A is equal to 58, hahanapin natin itong A na ito. So, para mahanap natin itong A na ito, pansinin nyo na ito si A opposite siya kay angle A. Then, si C yung hypotenuse natin. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng sign. Because we have hypotenuse and we have also the angle, which is the angle A. So, hanapin natin si opposite. Okay? So, tandaan yung class na sa paggamit ng equation, doon sa anim na equation na yun, dapat dalawa sa kanila yung given. Alright? So, here, meron na tayong angle A, meron din tayong hypotenuse. So, yung opposite na lang yung hahanapin natin. Okay? So, substitute lang natin si A, which is 58. Then, we have hypotenuse, which is 27. Sign naman ito. Sign opposite hypotenuse. So, cross multiply. So, 27 sine 58 degrees. Sine 58 degrees, sa scientific calculator nyo, is 0 0.8480. Ayan. And then, multiply nyo siya kay 27. That will give us 22.90. Right? So, therefore, itong sa leg na ito is 22.90. Okay? So, that's all for today, class. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share, 
subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Thank you!